Hi, John Wang from One Kindness here. And uh, in this whole craziness going on with coronavirus, I just want to take a quick moment of your time and connect with you and just remind you to be kind. Now, I realize right now, this doesn't make a lot of sense right now. Like people are out there, they're, 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 they're trying to get all the resources they can. They want to make sure they can survive. People are worried. But I actually think that now more than ever, Right now, in this moment, the main lesson, if there's one takeaway that we've been learning from this, is the importance of a community standing together. Because when we are standing together, that is our best chance for all of us to survive. That is the best chance for all of us to do better. Right? By practicing things like social distancing, by practicing things like washing your hands, you're actually not just protecting yourself, you're protecting those around us. And in that spirit today, I want to share five things you can do during this time to be more kind and make the community around you a stronger, better place. Number one, share your resources. I get that. There's a mad dash. A lot of people have right now. We're trying to get out there, get all the resources we can, stock up on 14 days of food, exactly as what the government is telling us to do. But offer, for example, if you're going to go do a grocery run, ask your neighbor, ask your friends. Is there something that you can go and bring back for them that you could pick up for them, right? Now, I know there's a pa- you know, toilet paper shortage because for whatever reason, we have this fear around it. But when you think about it, realize that empathetically, that fear is logical. We're all going through a stage where we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But that's just life. And that's okay. But when we remind each other that we're there for each other, that we're here to create a community, we get stronger and we feel safer. That's the first thing. Number two is Thank the workers who are around you right now. The people who are not quarantining themselves right now, the people who are not able to go home and stay at home and just, you know, turn on Netflix and enjoy this time are the people who are working on the front lines. I am talking grocery store workers. I'm talking retail workers. I am talking healthcare workers. These people, if you're coming into contact with them, If you're calling and you're dealing with customer support, maybe you're canceling a trip and you're feeling frustrated. If you're doing any of these things, I just want to give a quick reminder. The person on the other end of that line is trying their best to make your life better, right? They are there to do their job, but they also don't have to be. They're there putting themselves at risk every single day, encountering person after person to keep things going. So be kind to them. Thank them for taking the time. Now, that might be because they have no choice but to come into work, but it doesn't change the fact that they are choosing to come to work, right? Maybe they have kids at home, right? Maybe they have family at home. Maybe they're taking on more risk so that they can help you. Be kind to them. Thank them, support them, give them energy. Don't be rushed. Don't be curt with them. Even if they're curt with you, they're trying their best. Number three, offer to help those in need. If there's somebody you know who has trouble with, let's say, transportation and getting somewhere, offer to go pick up something for them. If there's someone around you, for example, a a mom or dad who's dealing with a kid who's, you know, from home because the school is closed, and if you have the option to and you know that, you know, the kids aren't showing any symptoms or anything like that, offer to babysit, right? Support them however you can. Right? A simple way is just offering to pick up and drop off something. That's something that all of us could really easily do, especially if you have a car and you're not going to be out and about in public transit. That's a huge one. Reducing the number of people in public transit is such a powerful way of making this virus kind of like taper off. Right? So something very simple. Number four, arrange Let's say Zoom calls, arrange Skype calls, arrange phone calls, reach out to the people around you. People are in self-isolation right now. People are in self-social distancing right now. That means that there's not the same level of human to human connections that's there, right? Reach out and connect with them, support them, give them encouragement, set out a group Zoom call. You wanna watch something on Netflix? Do a Netflix night where you hop on a call with somebody else and then just watch the same movie together. Share that intimate moment, share that connection. From the safety of your own home, sure, but share, right? Be there for each other, right? Create and organize those little events. It's such an easy thing and so much more fun than being alone, isn't it? And then finally, the fifth one is just stay calm. You might not know it, but people are looking to you. There's probably somebody who looks up to you to get your guidance. I was surprised to find that, you know, 
how big of a difference it was when I, after I, you know, I was going through my journal and I was realizing that when I just finished watching the news, my language pattern is so much more extreme, so much more fear-based, right? And you think about the way that has a ripple effect on the people around you. Why are people acting irrationally and buying up all the toilet paper? Because they're feeling scared. Because they're afraid that other people might be scared. Riots can only really happen when everyone has a sense that things are falling apart. By you staying calm, you're helping empower other people around you stay calm. And that's such a powerful thing we can do. So remember, during this time, stay calm, be kind, support one another, be there for one another. Be kind to yourself and we'll get through it together.